was uh, phoned up and told that I'd won this prize and I was absolutely delighted. It's the MS Amlin Prize, which is an insurance company that actually go out to people in desperate situations and help them when there's been a natural disaster or anything like that. And they told me that what struck them was it's about continuity in a world of change. It's a painting of uh, the Eritrean church in the first Cali jungle, 2014. And one of the things that impressed me was one of the first things, although they'll be in very basic accommodation themselves, that they will um, make a church uh, and deck it out with beautiful carpets, and take their shoes off and go inside. There'll be a little altar so that they pray. But they rely on a few people who are volunteers that would come in and um, help them. I didn't actually go with the intention of making work from this experience. They needed someone with a car, because as part of this little Seneca group that the Camboni nuns had gathered together, and we used to meet every week to pray. And one of them was an Eritrean and was telling us about the conditions in uh, the Cali jungle, and nobody knew about it at the time. So I just was basically the car driver, and uh, I, they, we, we went and did a call out of, uh, to get donations and people were very generous and we just brought all the clothes over and one of them actually she cooked for about 500 people to feed them. I mean all my work comes from my experience but I was intentionally not even, well I wasn't thinking of it at all. I always take photographs and then it was, I sat on, this was 2014 so it was only like now 2017 when I had an opportunity to do a solo show that I thought well it will, I will do the solo show, it will be underneath the radar, I'll just get it out of my system and just put it out as a kind of historic record of what happened then. It no longer exists uh, and it went on to a second Calais jungle which became more like a town. This is called Opening. What this actually is, is the opening of one of the dwellings that they had built. They make it out of black plastic, blue plastic, and they often had uh, pallets to keep them off the ground. I, I, I altered the pictures a lot from the photographs. There was something, there was something about the way the wind was blowing and the way the things open up. So there's more of a metaphor, but around the idea of opening up. And these two, these two characters, have got a kind of series of photographs of them coming together. It's just a look of joy when they saw each other, um, and how there's a lot of solidarity. There was maybe 2,000 people there then. It went up a lot after that. I had a big career, a long career, doing commercial painting for money. And uh, so then when I went back to my masters to get my own voice back, really, um, I, it was a big period, well it's always a period of doubt, but a struggle to find my voice and when I was painting in colour one of the tutors kind of gave us a critique that made me realise how complex using colour is. It's, it's, um, it doesn't exist on its own and it uses, to, to use it in a correct way that is powerful it requires the part of my brain that I actually don't use when I'm painting because I'm very intuitive and I realised that my years of painting on a big scale I had a certain handwriting which uh, monochrome painting was, was, was suited to the, the spontaneity that I need. Oh.